Hey, this is Grant David back again with yet another exclusive interview for you. Today we are talking to New York indie hip hop artist Jesse Abraham. Jesse has been making some big noise in both the underground and mixtape circuit, which is evident by the accolades that he has received. He was nominated for both Indie Album of the Year and Lyricist of the Year at 2011's Underground Music Award. Today is here with Dag Multimedia to talk about his debut full length project entitled One Day. So Jesse, uh, how you doing, man? I'm doing quite myself. How are you doing? Doing pretty good, pretty good. Um, so what, what have you been up to lately, man? You've been keeping busy? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, the album came out in June. Uh, it took a little breather for about a minute and a half, and got right to it. Uh, working on my next album, which should be out early next year. So, uh, I'm enjoying it. It's been a good time. I'm enjoying the work, and I'm enjoying the energy in the future for sure. Good man. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. All right, well, the One Day LP has already proven itself to be very widely successful. Uh, people seem to be loving it. Can you give us a little background information on the album? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that was a project that I worked on um, for the better portion of 2010. And uh, I consider it my first album. Um, I put out, you know, album-length projects in the past, like mixtapes and stuff. But One Day was really the first project that I released. I really felt like told a whole story. Mm -hmm. It really had like a complete arc to it, um, beginning, middle, and end. And uh, I was really pleased with kind of the, the diverse range that I was able to approach that album with uh, in terms of the music, in terms of the content, in terms of the tone. Um, you know, I kind of value the multifaceted features of my persona as a human um, as well as as an artist, and I felt like that album reflected it well. So uh, I was really pleased with the production. Um, it was a blessing to have the features that I was able to get on the project. So overall, uh, it's, a, it's a very joyous occasion for me. And you already have the music video for the lead single, Spider-Man on Vitamins, out, which I saw and just, I love the video, I thought it was awesome. Cool. Um, I noticed that in many of your rhymes you seem to incorporate humor. Do you feel a need to do this, or do you think it comes more naturally? And do you think that there is a direct correlation between the humor in your rhymes and the fact that you grew up in New York, uh, when a hip-hop was just kind of blossoming and it was more fun, for lack of a better word? Yeah, quite possibly. Um, to be honest with you, I don't actually need to inject humor into the music. It really happens quite naturally. Um, you know, music artists are very uh, direct reflection of who I am as a person, mm -hmm. and humor and levity um, are, you know, obviously a constant in my life. Uh, at least I aim for them to be. And when I was singing out a right song, um, you know, putting myself into the music as much as I can. So mm -hmm. jokes and humor and little wit. Uh, it comes up naturally and it comes out of joy. Um, you know, I love writing songs, I love writing rhymes and kind of composing. Yeah. So the, the joyous mood that I'm in, or even if I'm writing about a serious subject, there's still a little bit of humor, a little bit of a wisecrack that can get involved just because that's kind of the reality I have to grow up in. Um, and you're right, hip hop to me was an expression of, of reality and an expression of joy and, um, and of emotion and of energy. And yeah. whether it's positive or negative, I think there's still a levity we can find in all forms of expression. So I think that maybe if somebody who experienced about from its earliest moments all the way up to where it is right now, um, I'm definitely going to bring all 360 degrees of what it has to offer as a writer. Well, yeah, I think that your uh, jubilant content is something that differentiates you from the rest of the pack, which I also feel is a good thing. Um, another thing that makes you unique is that I understand in 2006, you founded a tutoring company. Uh, how is that going? Are you still active in managing that? Yeah, absolutely. It was actually back in '04 that uh, I founded that um, out here in New York. And yeah, we're, um, we're seven years strong. Uh, I'm still the managing director. I'm currently actually sitting outside of a student's house, took about a half hour, I'll be going in to bother them in the middle of a beautiful August day. <laughs> and uh, it's a message to you, Prep, because that's the reality of their lives. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a big part of my existence. It's, it's what pays for most of my own stuff. And uh, it's a great passion for life. I love teaching out the one wicked. Yeah, well, well, what, what made you get involved in that? What made you want to do that? Yeah, um, both my parents were teachers, and I grew up with academia um, being pretty stressed around me. Uh, as, you know, both as a student and as somebody who was interested in working with children, um, I was a babysitter, and I, I tutored a little bit when I was in high school. And um, while I was in college, there was a part-time job I worked for Kaplan as an SAT teacher. Mm -hmm. And uh, that didn't last too long, because I really liked the whole big business feel of Kaplan. But um, once I got out of school, I had the opportunity to kind of form my own company, uh, working one-on-one -on -one with kids was really fulfilling for me. Um, I got to kind of redo some of the sides of education that I experienced as a kid that I felt needed some improving. Yeah. And um, it was nice to be able to do that in a one-on-one -on -one environment. Um, and as somebody who really loves 
public communication in general, I felt like the uh, opportunity to work with young people really directly um, is very fulfilling on a daily basis. Nice, man. That's uh, that's definitely respectable. So, um, so what's next for Jesse Abraham? What are your plans for the future? You said that you're already working on the next album. Indeed, I am. Um, actually, the last few weeks I've been in uh, production uh, canvassing mode, where I'm kind of reaching out to a whole wide breadth of producers and just trying to get my hands on as many different types of beats as possible. Um, you know, one day really was was worked on for a long time and this album that I'm working on right now is, is the first time that I've gotten to work on something from point zero. I have nothing right now. I have zero songs and I'm really going to mold it from the ground up and I'm really looking forward to that happening with this album be completely branded um, as its own entity. So right now uh, the project I'm working on it will be out in March I would say of next year but between now and then I'm putting together tours, I'm putting together shows, um, I'm working on a mixtape with a few other artists uh, and in terms of my music, you know, constantly writing, so that's definitely a key to what's happening. Um, and then, yeah, me as a human, I'm just looking forward to living and learning and loving and laughing a little bit more as time goes on. That's good to hear, that's good to hear. Um, you said you had some concerts coming up. Are you performing live anywhere soon? Indeed I am. August 25th, I'm going to be performing at Southpaw with Sky Zoo. Aha, uh-huh, love Sky Zoo. Yeah, and that's a pretty big show. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, that's presented by DJ Bruce. Um, that's the big one that's coming up, and then uh, in October, uh, September and October, I have a few that um, aren't split the side yet, but uh, yeah, August 25th, the South Park, Sky Zoo, and Jesse Abraham. Sky Zoo and Jesse Abraham, yeah, that sounds like an awesome show, we'll definitely be looking forward to that. Um, well, before we wrap this up and I'll let you get back to the tutoring game, I feel that I have to ask, uh, do you still throw in the crisscross record anymore and rap to it? You know, jump around a little bit? <laughs> Do you uh, really? Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome, man. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, Jesse. Man, we really, really appreciate it. And uh, and we're gonna put the uh, we're gonna put the link to the Spider-Man and Vitamins music video below this interview, as well as the link to the One Day LP where fans can preview and purchase it. Very cool. All right. Thank you very much, Jesse. I really appreciate it. All right, let's have a good day. You too.